No, never heard of it. No. 278? Is that the Thai region? Must be. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. You know his area code. Get the rest of the digits if you have a, you know, some game. I'm sure Ty's an eligible bachelor, like most of us. Oh! Wow. Face roll just starting out so strong. And face roll showing that he has game himself, leading <laughs> off with a great percentage <laughs> lead. Nice. Excellent. Excellent uh, use of my wordage there. <laughs> Some sick commentary duo. And not so sick edge guarding for face roll. Definitely had him in a good spot, but let him come back completely. Didn't take anything for it, though, so no biggie. And that was looking at like a demanding, commanding first stock for face roll. Mm -hmm. 10% not a big deal. He is over 30 though, which is a bigger deal. Why zero is that? To about, zero to about 30 is about the same. She can get away with a lot of crouch, uh, crouch cancels and F tilts, jabs, grabs, all her safe options that she's going for. Yeah. Once you get her over 30 though, Marth can start tossing her over his head, which is exactly where he wants her. Just keep juggling her. That's the matchup for Marth at least a, you know, a bit. There's a lot more to it, but Sheik just falling above Marth is exactly where he wants her. She's so helpless up there. He's got that big old sword. So I like that you mentioned the uh, the, the crouch cancel, like the, the crouch cancel percentages. Like what would Marth have to do to kind of get Sheik above that? It's really important, like, because Sheik, you see Sheik do the same kind of thing when they're um, below 30, like around 0%. Yeah. That's when you really, really have to space your moves. You have to use your moves that you know that you basically just have to expect to crouch cancel. So you have to do moves that even if they crouch cancel it and, you know, spam whatever move, be it down smash, down tilt, whatever, you're going to be safe from that. And then you you get to punish them for it if they do it, if you play it right. You know, like if you're Sheik, you want to get your needles, you want to get your back airs, like spaced back airs, you want to get your grabs, stuff that like, grabs are in the sense that it's going to lead up to your damage real quick. And the back airs and needles are just safe. So you're not going to get crouch canceled and punished for it. Marth is just his range, his grabs, his speed, just weave in and out. And like we saw earlier there, Ty getting a wonderful pivot grab, weaving in and out of a uh, face roll shield play. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. That's that definitely the chic option. Once you get a down throw under a platform, just wave land up. You get another grab almost free. Sexy play from face roll. Nice. He actually, it was, it was hard to see, but he actually turned around real quick on that down smash to get the uh, stronger hit. The back hit of the down smash is not nearly as strong as this front facing one. Needles, that's death. Oh, he had a jump, excuse me, didn't know. Sneaky Mar. Up tilt, up tilt, or up air, nice choice. Wow. FR would have killed too, but why not? The face roll looks completely calm and almost zen-like out there. Ty looking like not really flustered at all in his play. He's been here before, but uh, ooh, yep. Again, where you want to be, needles. Marth had that good spot now. You see uh, face roll going for some more tilts now, because he's going to be popping up a little higher. Good grab from Ty. Yeah, quick pivot grab. Nice. And that's what I associate a lot with Ty's play after seeing him for so many years. He has great grabs. Like, yeah, he's really like, he's good at like floor movement. You know what I mean? Yeah. He doesn't do a lot of aerial stuff, but once he starts like sticking to the ground and sliding around, it's, it's like, that's his best style if you ask me. <laughs> Read into the future. Yep. Oh, nice. Wow. Done. Yeah, that like uh, back air was just so fast. Ty uh, wasn't even ready for him to be there. Uh, super smooth, too. Yep. All right, face roll going up that first stock. Or first game. <laughs> first four stocks. <laughs> Solid. All right, Pokemon Stadium, the new Marth stage. You used to never see Marths come here, but now it's definitely a pretty good stage for him. It's a big open area right here, see? Just like I said, keeping him above his head. Sheik is in such a bad spot right there. She just has to fall down onto that. Another zero to death. We saw Face Roll get the zero to death game one. This time Ty got his own. Arizona has those too. Mm -hmm, Reminding exactly. us that Arizona is a strong contender of a region. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, it's true. We live in SoCal. We can say stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> blessed, man. So blessed. So blessed. Nice. Face Roll with the uh, read on that hard uh, neutral air. Even harder read with the up smash. And you saw the, like the little, the slight turnaround right there on the outside. Oh, done! <gasps> wow, Sexy. good stuff, Ty. Sexy. Yeah, Ty's looking pretty good this game. That's two nice combos. Solid e seventeen, unpunishable percent there. Exactly. <laughs> it's so like uh, good as Sheik to just like fill all your needles land. You're like yes. Because again, that 0 to 30 is so important. You land two of those needles and they're already, and the difference from 0 to 17 is, is so big. Those subtle things in Smash that people kind of don't like notice exactly. 
Yeah, good Ty, wow! And the taunt! Damn, you got the taunt, baby. We got some crowd pop-offs. I actually dig this from face roll. You know what? Just what? slow down the momentum, take a deep breath, make him wait a really long time. Literally, he just waited for the cloud to run out. So he's like, all right, he's got momentum. He taunted me. He's feeling himself. We're about to play my game now. Let's see if you can play my game. Face roll's going to slow it way down, play safe, can't take any damage. Any damage is permanent damage. This is his last stock. Not safe. All right, should get a kill for this. I like the read there from Ty going for the, I guess, the counter, mm -hmm. expecting Face Roll to come up with a fair. Yeah, because Face Roll was playing like super aggressive for a cool couple seconds, but good on him to, you know, not go overly aggressive. Those quick, quick adjustments, that determines the better player, honestly. That's how you win melee sets. Whoever adjusts faster wins almost all the time. Ooh, face roll kind of getting a little antsy there with these grabs. One boost grab and then a little miss earlier, but now he seems to get the punish going off. Yep, that's why Sheik's get antsy with those grabs, because they're so meaty. In this matchup, a Sheik grab could lead to a stock so easily. Oh, good punish. Ty was ready for that. He knew he was going to run up and try to grab him. He just put out a hitbox so he'd run right into it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ty's so smooth like butter. Got getting him. Last stock. Wow, that was actually a really convincing game. Really fast. A lot of um, style and swag from both players, but Ty came out real strong to even this set back up. That's actually pretty impressive. Uh, I like how there's no bad blood between them. You can tell if they're just having a really good time about it. Mm -hmm. Ty, like a little, you were right. He, he seemed a little off or maybe on tilt in the last one, but this one he's just smiling. Yeah, exactly. He even like, because um, face roll when he got that like charge up smash on the first game, yeah. Ty like even like kind of looked and like laughed, you know, like, oh, that was pretty good, which is, you know, <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like you do it to look like a sign of you're not shook, but it probably means you're shook. You know yeah. what I mean? It's one of those like, oh, you probably should have just been stoic there, dude. But he shook it off in one game two, and now we're on to game three here. And looking real strong, too. 8%. Bit of a flub there from face roll. And I like the opening combo he had, just kind of carrying him across the stage. Good mm -hmm. positioning on the moves, and oh! Done. Nope. Waited. Ooh, look at that. Exactly the same thing. The Smash Gods can be forgiving. Giving face roll another chance here. And Not great. having to play at a deficit. <laughs> they can also be balanced. Yeah. They have a cruel sense of irony. Seriously. Sometimes they'll just be like, all right, cool, we'll be fair. And then other times, like, today's not your day, bro. Sorry. <laughs> You're not winning. We'll see if any of the gods curse either of these fools. Infidels. <laughs> Deal. Oh, can get them. Oh, Sheik stuff. Sheik's um, crouch cancel. There's another reason why it's so good is because she's one of those characters when she crouches, she gets low, man. She gets so low. It makes her hitboxes so much lower, so much harder to hit. It's just such a cool little spot for Sheik to be in. She can crouch under projectiles, she can crouch under her boxes, but none of these. Pretty big damage. Wow. Couldn't get to the ledge there. That's where he needed to be. Yep, goes on the ledge this time. And the cycle. There what? was that non-lag yeah. you were talking about. Sick. It's so cool. I'm glad I know that now. Well, it's actually Woo. Face Roll, the one that taught me that. Like, cool. Just by watching him and how he plays, he likes to do that. Yeah, that's cool. That's something I'm going to have to incorporate. I don't use that at all. Face Roll's a really cool Sheik. I love a Sheik. It's like, he's so, like, um, he's such a fan of the fundamentals. And those are, like, the good players. You know what I mean? Ooh. Good option from Ty. This is a good spot to be in. He needs to bring this back now. And this is still singles pool, so it's best out of three. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Winner of this is going to probably go out of their pools and winners. I'm imagining this is the semis. It's almost got to be. Ooh, ooh, so brave with that just solo needle right there. Yep. Oh, nope. Couldn't get the follow-up. Ty gets a grab here. Pretty big. We're on FD. Huh? Didn't get much damage, though. Wow. Looking rough. Ooh, good recovery. Down throw forward air? Nope. Goes for the up smash again. This time Ty was ready. Oh, <laughs> right at the edge! Yeah. Great spacing! So far away that like face roll couldn't even like punish it really. He's like, oh, whoa. Killing the needles. A lot of times I like to use the needles to like um, slow down their like their attacks. Because like when they actually hit the needles, they're like, Oop, that's it. Face roll closed it out pretty strong. Pretty good showing from Ty. But face roll took it. But anyways, like I was saying, I think, what was I saying? Talking about needles. You were talking about needles when the hitboxes, when a move hits and clanks with them, they slow down the move. Oh yeah, yeah. Like if you like if you're Marth and you like forward air, 
That, you know, SJJ, I think he was telling me he thinks Marth might be his best matchup. No, not me, it was on his stream. But I, I can't imagine Fox. I always think of Fox as SJJ's absolute best bread and butter. He just hits so hard. Like, 